Hello, so today we're going to show you guys how to test a double check valve ASSC 1015 using the ASSC 5000 series test procedures. Uh, there are ASSC 5000 procedures that use three valves and three hose kits, um, but this particular test procedure we're doing is the one hose version that came out in uh, 2015. And so we're only going to need one hose and we're going to need a um, test kit. The test kit we're using is the Kruger Instruments. TK2, it's a two valve test kit. Depending on the type of test cocks you have, you might need a uh, flathead screwdriver. Most of the smaller ones have flatheads. Most of the larger ones have ball valves. We actually have these quick turn test cocks that we use for our, uh, for our backflow uh, courses. It makes it a little easier and you don't need the uh, screwdriver. So let's just get into the test. You open test cock four with a, just to bleed the test cocks. Then you open test cock two, then close, open test cock three, then close, then close test cock four. Close all the valves on the kit and then open the high bleed valve. You open test cock two with triple flow. Attach the hose to the gauge, to the high side. and to the test cock. Once water starts coming out of the bleed, close the high bleed, and then open test cock two fully. Maintain the center of the test kit with the top of the test cock outlet. Then you move on to testing the check valve one differential. You shut test cock, shut, shut off valve two, shut shut off valve one and then you open test cock three, and you get a direction of flow test across check valve one. Drops, 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 gets to 1.8. So that's our reading. Then we shut both of the test cocks, take out the high hose. And then we move on to test cock, or test two, uh, check valve two differential. You have to reestablish pressure to the assembly. So you can either open shut off valve one or you can put a bypass hose in between these two test cocks and open both of them. For us, it's much simpler to open the shut off, but in a larger assembly or one that has some kind of tamper detection, you might need to leave it closed. Then you open test cock three with trickle flow. Attach gauge high pressure hose. Water starts coming out, high bleed, close high bleed. Open test cock three fully. Then you shut the inlet shut off valve or you would close the test cocks if you did it that way. Then you open test cock four. Pressure drops. Then you see it's about one, it's about 1 1.6, a little lower for the second test, for the second check valve. So both of them pass. There's a minimum of one PSI for a passing check valve. So 1.8 and 1.6 are both good. So then you close, you restore it to uh, its pre-test pre condition, meaning you close the check cocks, open the shutoff valves, and that concludes the test.